Are you still there? Uh, yes. Okay, that's good. So I just showed you. I I just I just showed to you what what happened to me now. I just showed to you a video, okay, about the evolution, okay, of the ape, apes rather. So let's continue page eighty four. Okay. All right. So that is evolution of um, science. Science believed it as human evolution. Okay. But I would like to call it evolution of the apes. That, um, that it, it evolved, okay, from apes into having human like structures. But science called it as human evolution. Okay. So we have here first fire makers. I think you were able to read that one already. Uh, let's go with modern humans. What are the, the characteristics of modern humans? What are they like? Uh, more, modern humans. Modern humans appeared in Africa. The tools they made help them adapt to other environments. They spread mm. across the world while other human-like species die out. Okay, very good. Thank you, Lee. So they appeared in, they first, according to science, the modern humans, the first modern humans, they appeared, they appeared in Africa. So the tools they made, okay, they were able to adapt them to their environments and they spread across the world while other human-like species got extinct. Okay. So... They used what? What is this? Uh, it's the uh, hand as hand axe. Hand axe. All right. So you had just watched a video about human evolution. What can you say about that, Lee? Um. The human okay, evolution. Can... The first human like animal were short, mm. had small brain, and lived mm. mostly in trees. Over many years, they began spending more of their lives on the ground. Okay, so science believes that these apes um, evolved, okay, They've, they evolved from time to time. Okay. they were able to develop some human-like structure until they can already like um, erect, stand, and do such activities like make fires or have some tools like stone, hand axe, or until it become like this, like really a human structure. So how do we know? How do we know? How what does science believe? And how how did they have this theory that humans came from apes? Can you please read? Uh, ancient, ancient humans left behind bones on tools. Scientists study the bones, the bones to learn everything the bone? from how it, again bones, bones, bones mm. to learn everything from how it, ancient humans walk to what they ate and what diseases they had. Diseases. Their diseases. Can, Again, diseases. Diseases. Oh. diseases they had. Their hmm. tools can breathe, breathe. I don't know how to say. Reveal. Reveal if for information about that design. Okay. So according to scientists and also the, um, based on the video that we had watched earlier, so they were studying the bones and ancient, I mean, they were, they were studying the buried remains of the ancient humans, and they were able to discover it, and they said that ancient humans, what? Ancient to humans, what they, uh, what they mm -hmm. ate and what the diseases, 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 diseases they had, 
Yeah, so that's why it's mentioned here that 200,000 years ago, other human-like species, what happened to them? Um, the human-like species die out. Yeah, so science believes that the first uh, humans or the ancestors evolved from apes into becoming humans. And they believe that they died out because of some diseases. And they were able to discover some, what is this? Uh, ancient skull. Ancient skull. Ancient skull. Yeah, ancient skull. So this is what science believed about human evolution. Okay. Now let's proceed to the Earth. Can you please tell what what Earth is? What it's like, Lee? Earth Earth is the planet we live on. It is mm. the third planet away from the Sun and the largest rocky planet in the solar system. Earth is about four four point five billion years years old. At the moment, oh. it is the only planet known to support life. Okay, so we are living in what planet, Lee? We are living in what planet? I mean, we, we are living in what planet? Uh, we live on Earth. Yes, we live in planet Earth. This is Earth, what we are living now. So, according to... According to science, Earth is what? The Earth third? is the, uh, the third planet away from the sun and the, mm -hmm. the largest rocky planet in the solar system. Oh, yeah. So that's why it's habitable for humans because it's the largest planet in the solar system. It's the third planet away from the sun also. So... How many, how many, uh, what is the age of the Earth according to science? Um, the Earth is about 4.5 billion years old. Okay, so Earth is known as what? Known to what? Known to support life. Okay, that's why we are living in uh, uh, here on Earth because it's very ha habitable for us. It supports life. It's away from the sun and it's large. It's the it's the largest planet in the solar system. Okay, how many large masses does the Earth have? The Earth has seven large land masses called continents. Yes, yeah, say it again. Continents. Continents. Mm. Okay, so can you tell about our homes? In our home, Earth has all the right conditions for life. It is just the right distance from the sun. It has mm. ocean of liquid water and a blanket of gases called an atmosphere that protect it from outer space. Say it again, Lee. Atmosphere. Asmo atmosphere. Okay, so our home is Earth, right? And it has all the right conditions for life that is um, very convenient and, and very um, habitable for us humans. So it says here that it is just what? Right? Uh, the right distance from the sun. Yeah, it has oceans of liquid water and a blanket of gases called an atmosphere. That what? What is the function of the atmosphere? Uh, it's the one that protects. Atmosphere that protects it from outer space. Yes, that's it. So what is the Earth's atmosphere, by the way? Earth's atmosphere is mostly made of two gases, nitrogen and oxygen. Nitrogen and oxygen. 
Say it again. Um, we need nitrogen and oxygen. Nitrogen and oxygen. Okay, oxygen. Oxygen. Okay, so Earth's atmosphere is composed of two gases, which is nitrogen and oxygen. So that's why it protects um, our home was able to be protected from the outer space because we have this Earth's atmosphere like nitrogen and oxygen that helps us human beings to survive and it supports life. So how many percent of the Earth's surface is covered? About 70% 70 70 of, of the Earth's surface is covered in liquid water. Oh, wow. This is a trivia. 70% of the Earth's surface is covered in liquid water. Okay. So it says here, after seeing the first pictures from space, scientists nicknamed Earth as what? Uh, scientists <clears throat> nicknamed Earth the blue marble. As you see it here in the illustration, Lee, wait, hold on. As you see it here in the illustration, it looks like a blue marble. That's why scientists called or give a pen name to Earth as the blue marble. You see in the illustration, it looks really blue, like a marble, like a blue marble. Okay. And how about the white swirls? See that the one? See that one there? The white swirls? What is that? Please read. The white, the white swirl, swirl are clouds. Swirl. Thick swirl are clouds. Swirls. Say it again. Swirls. Pronounce the letter S. Swirl. Swirls. Swirls. Very good. Are clouds. Thick mm. patches of white are storms. Okay, so the white swirls here, they are clouds, okay. And the thick patches of white, the thick patches of white, you see the, some thick patches here, these are the storms, okay. So every time uh, we have storms, you can see that the clouds look thick and dark, right? That's because that's a signal that there's a storm. Okay, so... We have here an illustration, too hot, too cold, habitable, and the earth is here. So just imagine the earth is here, okay, and the sun is here. It's too hot, right? So just imagine if the earth is near the sun, what would happen to the earth? Um, the, uh, the sun and the earth. If, if the earth is near to the sun, what will happen to the earth? It would be uh, what? I think it's melting. Mm -hmm. if, if the earth is closer to the sun, it would be too... It's be too hot. Yes, it's too hot because sun is very hot. Just imagine earth will be near to the sun, which is very hot then for sure earth would really be too hot and it would not be habitable for humans to live and what if the earth is very far from the sun or it's far from the sun what will happen uh is is too cold yeah it's too cold that's why it should be balanced right that it's not really that far and it's not really that near to the sun so what is the safe zone safe zone uh, safe zone, Earth or uh, uh, beat the sun in what is known as the habitable zone mm. in green. Where Can you say it again, Lee? Habitable. Habitable. Habitable zone Very good. in green okay. where liquid water can assist mm. closer to the sun. It is too hot and farther. Mm away it is to okay that's true so the earth the earth orbits the sun okay the earth is here and it orbits the sun and 
that is known at the the orbitation of the earth is known as what known as habitable zone habitable zone habitable zone yeah so that's why it's it's called as the safe zone because the earth goes and orbit around the sun so it's not always that earth is far or earth is near near to the sun it goes and orbit okay so when when it goes to the habitable zone the green one okay that's the habitable zone once it passes through the habitable zone this is where liquid water can exist okay you see it that way this is where liquid water can can exist that's why this is the safe zone because it is very habitable for human beings so closer to the sun what will happen if earth is closer to the sun it is hot. and farther away it is farther away it is too cold yeah that's true so we have here earth rice can you please read lee earth rice on earth we see a sunrise and a moon rise as the sun and moon become visible in the sky when a chona as children are a bit the moon in 1968 they saw our own planet rising rising in in the sky yes okay thank you lee so earth rise on Earth, we see a sunrise and a moonrise. Okay, that's why it's called here as Earth rise. We have sunrise and moonrise. What do you prefer, Lee? What do you like, sunrise or moonrise? Uh, I think I like moonrise. Ah, oh, moonrise. There are people whom I knew who are um, sunrise lovers, and there are people I knew who are moon lovers. They like to see moon rising or moonrise. Oh, I see. I think uh, those people who love moons, they are called selenophile. I'm not so sure about that, but I think so. Okay, so moonrise, sunrise, as the sun and moon become visible in the sky. So when the sun is visible in the sky, it's called sun? It's called sunrise. Yeah, and when the moon becomes visible in the sky, it's called? It's called moonrise. Yeah, when astronauts orbited the moon in 1968, they saw our own planet rising in the sky. Oh, that's really great. So we have here the Earth's surface. So what is the Earth's surface? Lee, can you please read? Earth's surface. The outer layer of the Earth is called the crust. Again, crust. Crust. Okay. It is made of, of many piece, pieces called tectonic plates. Again, tectonic which, plates. Tectonic plates, mm. which fit together like a giant mm. vulture. Tectonic mm. plates move very slowly, just a few centimeters each year. Again, centimeters. 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 Okay. Very good. Sorry, Lee, but it's already time. We already reached the time, but I would like to appreciate that uh, we were able to have a good lesson. And thank you for the interaction as well. I will give you a reward for that. I have here... A superstar award for you and i have here stars you're a star star thing great job yeah. very good thank you so much lee do you have some questions i don't have a question okay i hope to see you next time have a good night rest bye bye lee thank you have a good night bye bye have a good night